apps. Apps? Yeah, we got apps. We got free apps. Welcome to the Daily Appster. The short time we spend together today is devoted to iOS applications, either for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Not just any applications, but free ones. I'm James, and I sort through all the terrible application muck to find the gems you've been searching for. This is the Daily Appster for April 28th, 2011. I've got a bunch of quality apps today. Check these out. First one I want to talk about is called U Sports. And that's Y-O-O exclamation point sports. This is a freeappaday.com app, and it's kind of a play on the whole Wii Sports thing. It's pretty much the same game. When you start up the game, it'll prompt you to create an avatar for yourself. So you'll go in and you'll pick, you know, clothes and hair and face and all that stuff. And so you'll get this guy that kind of looks like, well, whoever you want it to look like. And then you'll go into the actual games. Now, normally I don't like it when you start up a game and it's got all these locked symbols everywhere and when you click on those you have to pay money for these extra games like there's a ski ball game that looks pretty cool I'd like to play that but I'm not gonna pay for it so it will allow you to play bowling boxing hoops horse racing and soccer I think I've only messed with a few of these mainly bowling because I like the bowling if you enjoy Wii bowling this is kinda Wii bowling except it's not multiplayer so that kinda stinks but you'll you'll roll the ball you'll actually tilt the device back and forth and get the ball to kind of swerve as you get on the lane. So it actually ends up being pretty cool. I, I do like this game. It's cool for what it is, for sure. And that's U Sports. Next app I want to talk about is called Tiki Lava Lanch. Tiki Lava Lanch. This is by the same people that did uh, the Tiki Totems games. You've got all these golden blocks mangled with these wooden blocks and grassy, mossy blocks and ice blocks and all this stuff. They're all kind of built in this tower. And you're trying to remove everything but the golden blocks. And you have to do this in a certain order or they'll fall off. It's a puzzle physics game. It's pretty cool. Definitely check this out. It's great art style. It's a lot of fun. Tons of levels. Tiki Lava Lanch. If you're in the process of learning Spanish, or if you've ever thought that maybe you should learn Spanish, there's an app called Spanish Verb Genius by Brainscape. Now, these guys do all kinds of language learning applications. There's over 2,200 flashcards. As they go by, you're able to rate how well you know them, and if you rate that, that you didn't get any of it right at all, well, then it'll show up more often. If you rated that you got it perfect, well, it'll still show up, but a lot less often. So it's a real cool kind of flashcard system. If you're trying to learn Spanish, this is going to help you. Check that out, Spanish Verb Genius by Brainscape. Next app I want to talk about is called The Fluffies. That's right, The Fluffies. And Fluffies seem to be these little furry balls that have bird faces on them. They come tumbling out of the top of the screen, kind of smash into each other, and they're all different colors. And when you get three or more of one color together, you'll tap them and they'll kind of pop, they'll disappear. So you're just trying to get as many in one area as you can of the same color so that you can make them disappear. Not only do they fall down and kind of bump against each other and kind of fly all over the place, well, when you turn the device, if you turn it sideways, well, then they'll all start, they'll all fall down sideways. And you can just keep going. You can turn it all the way around. It's a pretty neat feature for a game like this. So I recommend the Fluffies. Next up, I have, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, Shinro Minesweeper or Shinro Minesweeper. It's a logic puzzle mixed with Minesweeper. I've always been a big fan of Minesweeper. I love that game. Tons of fun. You've got a basic Minesweeper board, and you'll have numbers along the sides, and there'll be arrows pointing in different directions all over the place. And the arrows always point to at least one bomb, so you've got that aspect, and then the numbers tell you how many bombs are in that row or column. It's kind of hard to explain, but you get it after a little bit. Uh, very cool if you're into logic puzzles or Minesweeper or both. Check out Shinro or Shinro Minesweeper. Next app I want to talk about is called Tinkerbox. There's Tinkerbox, and then there's Tinkerbox HD for the iPad. They're both free right now. And this is an incredibly polished game. It's another puzzle physics game where you've got, you've got boxes and marbles and motors and conveyor belts and ropes attached, with, and you can cut the ropes with scissors and all kinds of crazy stuff's going on. You'll be presented with a puzzle. You need to get the ball into the cup, or you need to drive this car off the, off the ledge, or all kinds of things. And you'll need to grab stuff from your you know inventory, put it out into the level, and 
finish this off. It's really well done. It's got an amazing art style. It's all kind of, you know, machinery, factory looking. Check out Tinkerbox. The next two apps are not similar at all, (laughs) but they're both free to play, but they want you to spend money as time goes on. That's how they're the same. I won't be spending money on them, so that's why I'm talking about them. The first one's called Fishtails. And it's a universal app, and it's an aquarium. You know, it's one of those. You've got the aquarium, you've got all these fish. You buy a fish, you put it in here, you feed it, you make sure it's okay. When it becomes an adult, you're able to sell it. Uh, Also, you're able to evolve these fish into several different other fish. And when you sell those, you know, they're worth a lot more. You're able to upgrade your tank. You're able to get other tanks. You're able to change the scenery, put different decoration in there. If you're into aquarium games or just tycoon games in general, this is pretty cool. Again, they will at some point want you to buy like rubies or gems or one of those things. Uh, just, Just don't do it. There you go. Advice. So check out Fishtails. And then the other app I want to talk about, which I'm, I'm actually really excited about, it's called Battle Fury. And in this screenshot here, it, it describes itself as a classic R-SGL game, dozens of classes. And I'm pretty sure what they meant to say was an S-RPG game, because it's a strategy role-playing game. You know, you'll be placing these guys out on this field, then you'll be taking turns as a turn-based game, and you'll be leveling these guys up, taking out the enemies. You've got different quests that you want to complete. You just start creating a large army, and you're able to... I mean, there are. There's tons of classes. I was scrolling through there. Oh, it says 50-plus different character classes that you can unlock here. So I'm excited about Battle Fury. Check it out if that sounds cool. That brings us to the always free section of the show. This is where I talk about an app that is always free. And today I want to talk about Around Me. Around Me. This is going to come in useful if you're in an area of your city that you're not exactly familiar with, or if you're on vacation, you're in another town. Very handy. You're able to open it up, it finds your location, and then you're able to see where the closest bank is, where the closest bars are, coffee shops, gas stations. Of course, with gas station, you would want to use Gas Buddy, obviously, because then you can get the best deal on gas. Uh, hotels, parking, restaurants. Of course, for restaurants, you'd want to use Urban Spoon. Supermarkets, taxis, theaters, all kinds of stuff. It works really well. You're able to to just tap on those categories, look and see which one sounds good. It ranks them as far as what's the closest to your current location, which is really awesome. You can then, you know, click on that location. You can get the actual, like, physical address and a phone number. It's very cool. Check it out. That's called Around Me. Ah, uh, see? That was a lot. There's a lot of stuff there. You can follow the show and find links to all the apps I've talked about at thebigskillet.com. If you'd like to email me for any reason at all, you can do that at thedailyappster at gmail.com. And I'm on Twitter at twitter.com slash the daily appster. Thanks to iCactus for the opening and closing music. Until next time, enjoy your free apps. Yeah.